Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here and welcome to today's video. Today's video has been inspired by Andrea. I've been watching quite a few of her videos and reading through a lot of the comments on there and it seems you all love her channel to bits, which is fantastic. Andrea's favourite operating system is Linux Mint, um, but she tends to change or install the GNOME Flashback Window Manager, Desktop Manager, whatever you want to call it, right out the box. Whereas I've gone for the standard stock Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. And I'm sitting here pondering one question. You can see the speed up with which it's running on a basic. To call this PC basic is an insult, really. It's an e-waste PC that I paid 15 quid off of eBay for. It's got an Intel Core 2 Duo E8400, 4 gigs of RAM, 120 gigabyte SSD. And it's got an AMD Raiden RX 460, 2 gigabyte graphics card in. And that's it. Uh, to call it anything other than e-waste, you'd have to be off your rocker. And yet I can't help but wonder how many of these PCs are out there still either running Windows 7 or Windows 10 even. And I'm guessing people grapple and battle with it on a daily basis. When you have an operating system like Linux Mint, which is absolutely gorgeous, there's no getting away from it. And you can hate on it all you like. It's 100% free. There's no shenanigans. There's no keyloggers, no screenshotters, no spyware, there's no pop-ups. There's no AI, although there may be AI in the future. There's no guarantee there that AI won't creep into Linux, but as it stands as of today, there's no AI. And of course, it's 100% free forever. And just as importantly, you can customise it to how you want it to be. Now, I get that the majority of users don't customise anything. They just never bother. I get that. But for those of you that do want to customise your PC, all I've done is move the bar from the bottom to the side and added a wallpaper. And I've selected the dark theme and the, um, the green icons. There you go. And I've activated Andrea's favourite thing, which is sounds, because it's all available right out the box. So all you've literally got to do is click on your start menu and go to your system settings icon. And here you can change your backgrounds, your effects. I've switched all the effects off on this e-waste PC because it just makes the PC runs so much quicker there's far less micro delays on stuff happening uh, uh, and in terms of themes just click on your theme icon i've gone for the dark theme with the green um this here the green highlighting and it's absolutely beautiful um i then went into where did i go uh was it preferences No, it must be administration then. No, it must be preferences. Hmm. Oh, if only it was as easy as my beloved MX Linux, eh? If only. There we go. So if you go into themes, which is pretty much what you've got on the settings panel, if you click on the advanced settings here, you can choose whatever you want. So you can change your mouse cursor. I'm going to go for the standard DMZ white because I quite like it. You can, I've got gone for the mint Y dark and the mint Y on the icons, but you can change the folder icons to whatever color you like. And on the desktop, I've gone for mint Y dark as well, as you can see. Uh, now, as I say, I did move uh, this bar here and you right click on the taskbar, left click on move. And that's its normal home. That's where it lives. 
Uh, but I'm so used to my beloved MX Linux, I quite like it as a desk bar. So I've moved it to the left. It's out of the way, while still fully visible and fully functional. So yeah, I'd be interested and delighted to know why people are still struggling. And surely, with a gazillion how to install Linux Mint videos on your PC, a wash on YouTube, there's never been a better, better time to upgrade your PC and your computing experience away from Microsoft Windows. Now, again, this is aimed at the home Windows user who's got an older PC. It's not aimed at the Linux enthusiast, and it's certainly not aimed at anybody with the latest and greatest hardware. So please factor that in when you're posting underneath the video. The two major uh, stumbling blocks, first of all, is proprietary software. So Microsoft Office and the Adobe suite won't run locally on the computer. So if you use either of those two and you have to use them, well, stay on Windows and it sucks to be you, big style. The other big stumbling block is gaming. So if you play a game like Valorant, Destiny 2, Fortnite, unless you're going to use something like GeForce Now, which I personally heartily recommend, um, then forget it. I get it. And in that instance, do you know what? It sucks to be you as well. Because this operating system is slick. It's beautiful. It's fast. Um and if you just leave it alone, install your software, you're good to go. It's free to download. Um, a shortcut link to this page is underneath the video. So any of you can go and check it out. And if any of you have any questions or anything you'd like to know, feel free to post underneath this video. And I'll do my best to help you as best as I possibly can. Installing software is a breeze, operation is a breeze, setting it up is a piece of cake, and on a computer of this sort of spec, you can quite happily use it also as a full media slash entertainment centre as well. Sorry, just bear with me a second. So if you install something like... Uh, Google Chrome. I don't want to set as default. No thanks. Hello, Google Chrome. Piss off. Uh, there you go. Um, you can get all your live sports channels. You can do all your dodgy boxing. Um, and it's relatively easy and straightforward affair for you to do it. You can't go wrong. Absolutely everything's on there. Right out the bat. In terms of gaming... Well, I've installed three games. So let's just very, very quickly fire them one after the other. The first one is Total War Medieval. And this runs natively in OpenGL on Linux. Uh, I'm also running an AMD graphics card, which means I don't need drivers installed. And there you go. Even on this class of e-waste PC, you are in a cracking position where you can game as the day is long and this game runs beautifully especially when i'm not recording a video don't forget i'm recording a 60 frames per second video absolutely gorgeous of course you can't hear the game audio because I'm only recording the microphone. But believe you me, it's absolutely gorgeous. Medieval 2, Total War. Um, and it runs natively on the PC. So there you go. So that's the first one. Um, the next one is the Mighty Farm Simulator 15 Gold. Uh, which I've bought down. Now I'm running this via Proton. And again, when I'm not recording a video, because recording a video absolutely thrashes this PC, um, it runs beautifully. 
and it will give you potentially hundreds if not thousands of hours of happy playtime as you can see so I've loaded up uh, a farm here and I've started using this PC on farm sim 2015 for farming on my other PC I'll run 2017 because uh, I think graphically it's slightly better but of course um, farm sim 2015 um, requires a lot less again you won't be able to hear the in-game sound and that's fine um, but again all I can do is assure you that um, it runs beautifully and the game looks absolutely stunning so that's one native game and one proton game demonstrated for your edification what it's going to record like on the video i've no idea but it's absolute spider silk on this pc last but not least we have the mobile game and of course that is star trek timelines strategy online strategy game uh, that basically is a cash grab and you can stick your middle finger up to it by not spending a penny on said game nevertheless the game runs beautifully even on an old banger of a pc like this enjoyed best with your sound on well again you can't hear the audio uh which is probably a bit of a godsend for you hmm. again you can see the speed at with which it loads and operates hopefully simple screen recorder which i'm using to make this video um will reflect that and we can zoom in on our beautiful starship there we go and you know it's instant it's responsive it's enjoyable and it's quite frankly so wonderful not to have to concern yourself with viruses spyware key loggers and a gazillion other things now if your focus is on social networking you know facebook tiktok all that sort of stuff this operating system has got you covered if it's email if it's internet youtube twitch this operating system's got you covered if it's a media center watching movies box sets watching live streams this operating system has you back and if it's gaming providing your hardware is powerful enough to run said game again this operating system by and large should have you back it's not perfect no operating system is and depending on your hardware configuration that will also determine what your experience is going to be like however i feel there's enough stuff out of the box on linux mint to warrant me doing a nice little cheeky series on it so that's what i'm going to be doing running concurrently alongside my amex linux series so there you go everybody in 2024 i have now given you a choice of two heartily recommended operating systems that if you have older hardware like i have here i would a thousand gazillion percent recommend you plead with you urge you to get rid of that piece of crap which is windows off of your pc unleash the power of your pc and start enjoying your computing experience once again please post underneath your comments i think linux mint is fantastic do i think it is as good as mx linux no but then again i don't think any operating system is and I've already stated the reason why I think MX Linux is head and shoulders above every other operating system, including Windows, including Mac, you name it. MX Linux for me personally is number one. However, Linux Mint Cinnamon 21.3 in 2024 on an e-waste PC is absolutely amazing. Why on earth would you run Windows? when you can have an operating system that looks this gorgeous runs this fast never gets slowed down never gets bogged down with viruses and all the other 
crap and processes that Windows comes out the box with a standard. Why would you do that? And don't forget there's a gazillion videos on YouTube how to install Linux Mint on your PC. It's a relatively simple and straightforward affair and one that everybody should have a go at doing at least once. Just saying. Okay, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.